All right, Shalom. Shalom. We want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Brachat the Yahweh, Brachat the Yahweh Shai. We give double honors to the apostles and elders, which are the apostles and elders that rule the great millstone and that have been set up through faith to help seal the elect that the Lord brings in. We're at the time of the end. We're at the time of great deliverance. Uh. We're in the year 2017. So uh, me and his brother, you know, hey, you know, we the spirit hit us, so we're going to do a sit down. And hey, the thing is moving, man. Judgment is coming down. Death is raining down. The most high killing stars left and right, you know? Yeah. They had their consolation. Now it's time to be up out of there, man, you yeah. know? Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> and the nigga from MASH died. The doctor from MASH. You remember the TV yeah. show MASH? Yeah. Most high killed that nigga, babe. Hey, but they do live the life, you know? But yeah. hey, man. Yeah. But that's what we're coming to, man. There's a lot of things happening this year, There's, and we ain't even nothing but to like the first days of it, man. Right. So I can only imagine when Trump get up in there, it's gonna be it's gonna be a real hectic. It, it, it's gonna be a beautiful time, man. Uh. For 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 the elect's sake, that's what it's gonna be. Elect is gonna be beautiful because we've been we've been going through the crunch. We've been going through the hardships, the straits. Right. Now it's right. time for these heathens to catch something, man. Mm. You know, that's what's happening. You see what you got, Epps. Speaking of Ricky, yeah, Epps trying to you know pay yeah. the cost, man. Right. You know, but hey, that's that's the ropes you get, man. Uh -huh. You know, go ahead, Doc. All right, this is um, yeah, we basically going to talk about uh, about about you brothers uh, getting as much knowledge and understanding as possible because uh, well, I know you all seen that video that Esau just came just pulled uh, out of his ass. Um, saying the black Hebrew Israel, saying the black Hebrew Israelites debunk true or false. First of all, damn it, uh, we ain't black. Uh, there's no such race as black. No. All right, now I uh, see, brother, man, what Esau is going to do? He's going to continue to come out with all of these, with all of these uh, devices. All right, and uh, to basically weed out the weak. Mm -hmm. All right, so the undesirable, right? So, so, so get as much wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as you possibly can, man, and stay in the spirit, and uh, and also stay prayerful, man. All right, and then continue to ask Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai for mercy and for uh, and for more understanding and for more uh, strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get this is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says. And wisdom That's and spirit. knowledge shall be the stability <laughs> of our times. And the strength of salvation. That's the, spirit, man. the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Come. Mm. Mm hmm So basically, uh so basically the the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, right, and knowing the prophecies, right, um, and knowing what's coming, uh, is gonna keep you from basically losing your mind, man. It's gonna keep you from bugging out. Um, and, yeah, another, this is Proverbs, um, Proverbs chapter four. Is this real quick? Come on. Come on, it's a, uh, yeah, Proverbs chapter four, verse six to seven, it says, Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Mm. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Uh. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Alright, so alright, so alright, so so wisdom won't alright, uh so now if you don't forsake wisdom, the wisdom won't forsake you. Alright? And alright. And it says, "Love her, and she shall keep thee." All right. So this, so the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh um, Shai, yeah, I mean, won't it won't uh, forsake you, but it's going to keep you from the hour of temptation, man. It's a quick precept, kind Because you said, uh, "Keep wisdom, right?" Yep. And add, you know, pretty much keep up with it, right? Yeah. This is Ecclesiastes twenty-one and verse fifteen. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will command, commend it, and add unto it. <laughs> you run it back out, uh, man. 
Uh, man. Uh, man, I, uh, I just did a, a lesson on that spirit, the spirit child. Hey, that's the spirit, man. Yeah. That's the spirit, because I, I, I was like, oh, man, I got you. Yeah, hey, it's man, really bad. Con, oh, con, man. I got you. And this is uh, Ecclesiastes 21 and 15. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it mm -hmm. and add unto it. Yep. Yeah. But as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeaseth him, and he calls it, it, it says he casteth it behind his back, so they won't obtain him to wisdom. Right. So and it says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Right. So they're going to cast the very thing that's going to help save their ass. Right. That was it. Right, go ahead, oh, man. Yeah. Uh, see, it, it may be some more on I don't know, but... Um, oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is the... This is the twelfth verse. Mm -hmm. It says, "When thou goest, thy step shall not be straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction; let her not go, for she is thy life." So the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is our life, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So, right, and Yahweh Shah said that he will that. That uh, that w w when he leaves, he will send us a comforter. The comforter is the scriptures, man, and the well, Yahweh Shai, he's the comforter. Mm. All right. Uh, so so the Holy Spirit is the comforter of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So that's what's going to keep you from the hour of temptation. That's what's going to keep you from, from, from losing your mind and going crazy, man. All right now, right now, now all hell haven't even broke loose yet. And these dudes, they are losing their mind. Yeah, they're going crazy. Yeah, yeah they're, they're truly they're, they're they're off their rocker. Right. This to add on what you're saying, man, <clears throat> uh -huh. just to keep the you know keep it going. This is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes four and verse eleven. Mm -hmm. It says, "Wisdom exalteth her children." Mm. And layeth hold of them that seek her. Mm. He that loveth her loveth life. Because mm. what you, you said that's life, right? Yeah. It says, He that loveth her loveth life, and they that seek her early shall be filled with uh, it says filled with joy. Yeah. He that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory. Mm. And who's it says, and wheresoever she entereth, the Lord will bless. Yeah. And that's entering what? Your mind. mind. Yep. They that serve her shall minister to, it says, they that serve her shall minister to the Holy One. Mm. And them that love her, the Lord doth love. Come. <sighs> Dang. So, so, if you love wisdom, if you love this truth, guess what? Man, Yahweh what Yahweh Shah loves you, man. Mm. Right? Even though Yahweh what Yahweh Shah whoops our ass from time to time. Hey, but that's good though, man. All right? All, right, all of us deserve to get our ass whooped mm -hmm. anyway. All mm. right? But it says, despise not the chastening of Yahweh, man. And that's that verse too. It says, um, uh, every son that he receiveth, he chastises. Yeah, it says it says your your heavenly your earthly fathers have beat you for their own mm -hmm. own means. I'm paraphrasing. Yeah. I might look it up, uh, but, it, but it says uh, he, he says, but he's whooping us for. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna bring it out. I, I'm gonna, yeah. Go ahead, speak, Come. man. Go ahead, speak. Uh, I can't just paraphrase that right. one, man. So, all right. So, I can, man, don't despise the chastening of Yahweh by shaving Yahweh shot, man. All right, because. Whom Yahweh, what Yahweh Shah loves, he corrected. Even as a son, the, yeah, uh, even as a father and the son in whom he delighted there, man. All right? So, get as much wisdom as you can, man, because Esau is going to be coming out with all of these crazy ass devices, all of these, uh, all of these doctrines of devils and all of that, man. All right? Man, so, like, like, Yahweh Shah said, therefore watch ye and pray, man. Alright, so just just continue to watch and pray and stay in the spirit, man. 
This is a um, God. This is your precept. Um, let me get this. Hebrews. Hebrews six and two. Hebrews twelve and two. So I can. Uh, let me see. And yeah, no, cause it's about to it's about to get crazy. Man, it's about to get crazy. It's about to get real. All right. And yeah, how way y'all shy has handed out. Um. Three judgments are three judgments already, and it's only the beginning of the so-called new year. Mm -hmm. All right, now it of course, started early, right? And of course, it's more than three judgments, but, but the ones that we know, are for sure. Yep. This is a, this is Hebrews twelve and verse six. It says, "For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteth, chastiseth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth." Mm. If ye endure chast, chast, uh, chastening, Yahweh dealeth with you as with sons. Mm. For what son is he whom that it says whom the father chasteneth not? Mm. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof are it says it says whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards. It says ye are it says then ye then are ye bastards and not mm. sons. Mm. This is the part I want. It says. Furthermore, we have had fathers in our flesh with, which corrected us, uh -huh. and we gave them reverence. Right. And that word there, uh -huh. reverence, is respect. They whooped that, hey, man, I ne I, hey, I'll never forget, man. My dad is, was surgical, is <laughs> surgical with the belt, man. Right. My, my father would, would, would pop, man. Would, you know, those are the times I say, because, you know, when I did get my ass whooped, yeah. you know, and now my, my father enjoys it. That's why it says, put him under that rod so you may enjoy him. Right, yeah. So now it's like when we grow older and we, you know, all of us Jakes, we go off and shit. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah. we in the world. But then now, doing what we're doing, that's really what is the pleasing thing. Right. Doing this Bible, they might have a problem with it at first. Yeah. But once you see it, this is the most I didn't choose every son. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? He had prepared you to prepare your son for something that he's going to do. Right. And it says... It says the it says the flesh which correct it says for furthermore we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence respect mm -hmm. shall we not much rather be subject subjection unto the father of spirits and mm. live mm. so so we're also supposed to respect Yahweh. Yeah. You got guys are saying, oh, oh, you know. Yeah. It says, for they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure. Mm. But he for our own profit. That we might be partakers of his holiness. Wow. Man, so so he's correcting us for our own profit, man. Come on. Wow. For our own good. Yep. He says, we beats beat. Our fathers in the world, they might have beat you because, you know, oh, that's the respect, you know, to do their work. Yeah. And majority of times, you got your ass whooped because you was disobeying. Right. They told you to do something and you didn't do it. Now it's for their own mind. Right. So how much more the Most High told us not to do something and we disobeyed it for us to live. Right. He said, don't go into these things right. because you're going to die. Right. right. Don't eat pork because it's bad for you. Right. He didn't say pork because right. he just wants to to, to, to to herd the pork off and just keep it from people. You know? Right. The pig ain't nothing special. I mean, it's special because it's a creation. Right. But once you see once you see what it does to a human body, yeah. you stay away from it. Yep. And he didn't give it to all the other nations, man. Right. These other nations, they do whatever thing under the sun. But right. he said, look, I'm doing this so we can live, man. Yeah. To live. Yahweh Shah went on that cross for what? To save all of Israel. That's it. That's it. Not everybody in the whole wide world, man. Not the whole world. Right. That's right. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, it's, it's, it's all like, good, huh? <laughs> it's all good, man. So, when Yahweh, Yahweh Shah chastises us and corrects us, man, they're doing it for our own good. Mm -hmm. All right, man? They're, or doing